Embassy and welcome to a video that you've all been waiting for. I don't tend to buy cars like traditional YouTubers. This suits a purpose, the Cobra suits a purpose, the MG suits a purpose when it works. So I haven't bought a car for about over four years now. This was the last car I bought and as the title states, I've got a new one and you are going to love this car. It's in this building. Let's take a look inside and see what Santa has brought me. Oh, so this is what Santa Claus has brought me this year. My brand new car, all wrapped up. Let's take a look at what I've got. Perhaps the most exciting scene that I have filmed. I just want to take all this off, undress the car, and show you what I have bought. Because everyone loves a white chaser. This is it, my new car. Let's take the wrapping off and show you exactly what this piece is about. Yes, this is it, my brand new Toyota Chaser. Well, it's not brand new, it's from 1997, so it's a Series 1 JZX100 Tora V, but a little bit about that later. It's white, which is essential and fairly, fairly standard and a lot of room for improvements. And this is going to be the new flagship for the channel. And you can see this at Adam Seafest on the 1st of May, 2023. It's going to be the star of the show. Links are in the description for that. And this week, as the week I upload the video, if you use the code EARLY10, you can get 10% off your spectator tickets as well. But without further ado, Let's start up the car, take it outside, and give you a full walk around of my new white chaser. So, Santa Claus, thank you very much. Here is the key. It's got a strange satellite based system on it. Let's start the old beast up. <laughs> This is a historic moment. I'm standing next to my white chaser. Everyone loves my white chaser now. So it's the cleanest example that I could find. And you may notice that the design on my clothing has changed to my chaser. So these are still available, links down below. It's got all my bumpers and some smoke on it now. What I wanted was a white manual Tora V. This car is basically a Tora V. It's got everything a Tora V needs. However, the chassis leads some questions as to whether it is an original Tora V. But regardless of that, it's still a factory manual 2.5 litre VVTi 1JZ Turbo Toyota Chaser in white. I did think about buying one that wasn't white, that maybe needed paint and then revealing it and it's like, oh my god, Adam C's bought a chaser and it's not white and then painting it white down the line. But I mean, re-sprays these days are pricey and these are big cars. It's the biggest car I've ever owned. I've never owned a proper four-door. I had my RX-8 which has four doors, but it's not really a proper four-door. So this is quite large. So I keep it here at Super Duper Storage, which is where it's going to be kept for the time being. And there's lots that I would like to do with this car and I'm going to bring you all with me. So I would love to get a Vertex body kit. You can pick up a replica kit from Ireland for about £700 plus about 75 quid for postage. Or do I get one from Japan, a proper Vertex kit, and get it done properly? Because this is, as I said earlier, a really clean car. There is no mark on the car whatsoever other than this little rusty stone chip there that I'll touch in later. That's all I found. I've washed this car and when you give the car its first wash that's when you truly discover what it is. The wheels I'm not so sure on. Let me know in the comments what you think about the wheels on this car. I love them, I just don't think they suit this car in particular. They are 18 inch, I think they need to be 19s at least. They are Vertic VRS Manoray Sports. Proper JDM wheels, they, they look like split rims but they are one piece and I think on some cars, race cars, they would look quite good but I'm not sure what I think about them on this car. 
I don't know, they're growing on me for sure. Once I get the body kit, then I'll decide, do I get some chrome deep dish bad boys on it, raise it up to 19 inch. The headlights are the ones I wanted. I wanted the clear indicators, because some of them have the ambers, but I just preferred the clear ones. Around the rear lights, this is a Series 1 car, so it should have the triple chaser light, so red, indicator red, but it has reps of the Series 2 lights, which are a bit too tinted for my liking. So I might change these to the genuine Series 2 lights, which have a more clear bit up top there, but I still prefer the look of the Series 2 lights. Around the rear, it's got the factory spoiler that the Tour of Ease came with. It's got the lip kit all around that the Tour of Ease had. That's pretty much all it is visually for a Tour of E. It's got this extra bit around the whole car. And it's also got a brand new exhaust. This is a bit of an armadillo. I always call them armadillo exhausts. It's only recently been fitted, and I think I might take the back box off and swap it because it was done to show off his welding skills and yes he's done it but I'm not sure if I like that so that might be another thing that I'm gonna to have to change as well yeah I, I prefer them without spoilers so I might take that off but look there's not a mark on it inside it's spotless too have a look at that I mean it's a bit dirty because I have been driving it it's got the apparently real carbon fiber all around and the seats are comfortable very comfortable the driving position is a bit unusual being a Japanese car it's a nice place to be it's got that 90s smell about it standard steering wheel on it standard gear shifter all very standard inside other than this pioneer system which is all in another language I haven't actually sat in the back of this car yet it's enough headroom if you're six foot it's very dark in here it's got some window tints that might have to be removed and when I say have to be I mean you know what I mean. Oh my god, it's still got the original film on the chaser plates as well. That's how well taken care of it's been. The Japanese like to take care of their cars, and it's very evident on this one. One thing it's also got is yellow lights down the bottom there. So it's got automatic lights, so I think, because it's getting a little bit dark, if I turn maybe just the ignition on now, they should turn on. They don't. <laughs> Oh, apparently it's not quite dark enough for the auto lights to turn on, so I can manually do them. I think that looks pretty cool, if you ask me. I'm not a big JDM boy myself. This is the first imported Japanese car, proper JDM vehicle that I've ever owned, but I'm liking the look of that. I think with a beefier front end, it'll look good. I've also got some personalized plates for it. The first time I've ever bought a personalized number plate. The idea is it spells J2X, JZX for the chassis code JZX100, and then YT for YouTube, because J2X AC is on a BMW W2 series. Well, thanks. But I thought YT because I wouldn't own this car if it wasn't for my YouTube career. So I'm going to get some show plates made up that have it spaced to spell J2X YT. These plates are a little bit too wide, so I need to narrow them as well. But they do say everyone loves a white chaser on the bottom of them. It's got the chaser logo in the grill there. And I should probably show you under the bonnet. It's an awkward one to open this because you often find yourself grabbing the horns instead of the catch, but I've learned. So, I haven't cleaned anything under here, so it, it could look a little bit better, but it's got an aftermarket radiator, because the standard ones would crack or go yellow, a bit like MX-5s. It's got an intercooler front mount as well, you can just about see. When I get a new bumper, hopefully that'll be more visible. There is its VVTi turbocharged engine, the turbo's down there, but the Ram Air, air filter down below as well. TRD struts as well as that. But listen to the turbo. but the Ram Air filter really adds to the sound of it. I know a lot of you are going to say that they, they shouldn't really flutter that much. That's an inefficient turbo, but it's all about the drama. The point of enjoying your car, you've got the sounds, the smells, and the acceleration. It's fairly standard in power, maybe around 300 horsepower. We will put it on a rolling road to see what it's got now. Performance-wise, it's pretty standard. It's got coilovers all around, as well as that. It's got some big brakes. I think it's got super brakes on the rear. And, did I tell you it's got a turbo? <laughs> I 
stay in a car that's turbocharged. Literally, when you're driving along at slow speeds, even the slowest of speeds, and you change gear or you put the clutch in, it's very, it's just hilarious. I love it. My first ever turbocharged vehicle. I've never owned a turbocharged vehicle until now, and I've done it properly. Got myself a JZX 100 Toyota Chaser in white. So the chassis numbers are based on the generation, so JZX 100 was the later generation. They had a JZX 110, the Verosa, which replaced the Chaser, that was a bit of an ugly machine. They had a JZX 90 Chaser, 80, 70, I think there was a 60 as well. Going back towards the 70s when they begun the car, it was meant as a sports sedan, so a sporty car with enough room to keep your family in. So it's four doors, four seats, and a big boot. Let's show you the boot. Sorry about the steam, it's quite a cold day today. There you go, big boot. You've got all sorts of features, like a coin holder there. That can adjust the dip of your headlights. You've got air con, and even swinging vents. So when you turn it on, the revs climb, and they're meant to, or maybe they don't. So a bit like a Lamborghini Urus, they're meant to swing. So they give the passenger and the driver some heat at the same time, but I haven't worked out how that works yet. You've got traction control, I think that's a snow mode, and you've got the cleanest ever ashtray with nice velvet details. In here we have two cup holders for very small cups, got a little cubby bit there, glove box with some wires and duct tape, pockets in the door, this pattern is throughout the whole of the interior, got some little speakers there, it's got some kind of custom amp in the boot as well, but I haven't tested out that because I haven't worked out how to get the radio to work yet, so I haven't listened to music. But I have the music of the turbocharger. It's nice. Uh, wow. Adam C as a chaser. The memes must begin now. So let me know what you think of my purchase. This is going to go to all the shows in 2023. I might take it to a couple this year. I've finally got the car that you all tell me to get. No, I didn't get a Viper. No, I didn't get a multiplayer, all the other suggestions you gave me. I got myself a white chaser, JZX100, because everyone loves my chaser. So go follow me on Instagram for all the pictures I post of this car, where I take it, what I do to it, and hit that bell when you subscribe so you can be notified for all the videos that I do. I'm going to upload a behind the scenes video from today and I'm going to upload a lot more about my adventures with this car. So I hope you enjoyed this video, car number four in my collection. But for now, thanks for watching.